courtroom. Right. So I didn't become a courtroom lawyer. So do you think, Dr. Glover, that being a product of the civil rights movement and your house being a safe house and understanding how hard education at a time was for black people and seeing your parents go through the trials of trying to fight for equality, do you think that that was a driver for you to want to get all of the education you could? It definitely was a driver to be in a position to assist, to be in a position to, to right the wrong. I knew you couldn't do it. One could not do it uh, unless you had something. Uh, you had some kind of educational background that would allow you to be out front and make a speech and talk about how bad it was. I'll never forget what really, really was the, the, the nail in the coffin was when uh, we lived in the county part of Memphis. You know, we, you know before Memphis, was, my, city, my part was annexed into the city. There was no fire protection. There was no, there were no, um, you know, that we had, we had got sewers put in, but we sat there and we stood there in tears, watched a person's house burn down because the fire department couldn't come out there. The city fire department could not work in the county area. So there's nothing we could do. My father and the others had buckets of water and hoses put in, but you know, we watched the house go in flames. So I said, this is, this, this is wrong. It's unjust. It's unfair. It's just plain wrong. I'm going to do something about it. I think I must have been about seven or eight. And I said, I'm going to do something about this. And so and my father organized um, a march. And so I went to the march with him. And he marched downtown and with signs that we need fire protection. We need sewers. I mean, so it was, and it was, it was fascinating just to be a little girl looking for my dad doing all these things. Uh, just doing these marches and we got the fire protection. So I said, yes, I'm going to be a civil rights lawyer and I'm going to be a leader in civil rights and make sure that these communities get this. You know, you're talking about a, a little kid in you know, second or third grade. So. Sure, sure. But still with that dream to want to do more.